Hello, this is Mr. Quack Quack, and today I am going to be showing you redstone concepts so then you can do redstone better than before. So I'm going to be starting with just doing the basics today. So let's just start with redstone wiring. So right here, so redstone dust is would be considered a wire. So just put let's say a redstone lamp down here and a button. It turns on. It go off. A button only has a little pulse. Lever, well lever, you flip it, it's on, then you click on it again, and it's off. And you can place a fist in. Same thing, extend. And the extend. And right here, so a door. Opens. And then closes. And trapdoors do the same thing. Okay, and also, so let's just say, let's count, take a redstone beat line of dust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right here. Now, I take a lever, right here. Now this very final one, so now it's a, I can't, right here, it's not, it's not going to do anything, so I'll place this in here. It'll extend still, but, now if I place it here, it won't, because it has, you know, from maximum single strength, it declines one, all the way down to zero from fit, so, every single one, so fifth, so you got, now there's one, and you get all the way up to fifteen, and fifteen's maximum. So now, right here, let's say I have a place a repeater, now that completely resets it back to 15. Okay, and also, so, redstone, so let's say I take a piston right here, it's not going to extend, because the redstone is not aiming directly into it like it is right here. See this little thing, this line's aiming right into it, so that. Because it is, then it will connect. So now if I completely loop this around, around, then it will. And that works with every single thing here. So like a door, it won't open and close unless you have the redstone aiming directly into it. See, now we'll do that. Things that redstone will automatically connect into, like will redirect into, our repeaters and other redstone components. Like so, let's just see, like the target block. The target block is the only block that will redirect redirect into. It's got so the observer, other redstone dust, parator, and all activation sources. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about powering of blocks. So, right here, I'm going to be soft powering this block right here, which then I can just place, let's say, a piston anyway on this block right here. Like, and they, those are all powered right there because it's touching that block. It can only get powered if it's getting, if the signal is going directly in to the block. But, so let's say I place a block right here. That is not soft powered because the redstone is not going into it. And if redstone is on top of the block, it is also soft powered. So like I can place pistons next to this block right here. And it'll extend and it does that because it is connected while touching this block right here. So blocks that cannot be powered are transparent ones like glass, slabs, etc. And so, well, you heard that I was saying soft power. So, so that block is soft power, not hard power. Soft powered is when redstone is going into a block like this right here. But a hard powered block is so with soft powered, 
Let's say I turn this on. You're not gonna get a redstone up up there, because this block is soft power, so it cannot go back into another redstone dust. It would have to come out of a repeater or a comparator. So let's grab a comparator. Here we are. So right here. Why did that break up? There. Now it gets powered. I take the comparator. It gets powered. Now, how you hard power a block is when you have a repeater going into it. So now, when you hard power it, you can have redstone dust that comes out of it. So now that's getting powered because it's getting hard powered. So then redstone dust can get powered through hard powered blocks, and redstone dust can get powered from a hard powered block when it's not even connected to it, like that. As you can see, it does, to get powered, it does not have to be connected to the block. You can also hard power it through a comparator, like that, right there. Now, the target block is a special block because it can redirect redstone signals. So, you can just place it right next to it. But, like, I couldn't do it. It wouldn't work with a repeater like this right here. That wouldn't power it at all. The repeater would still have to be facing into it for it to work, which it's not facing into it. And also, that only soft powers it, it's not hard power it. But then I could easily take a repeater output from it instead of having to do it do it like that to get it. It could be just one closer, and that makes it easier to make things compact. I hope this video helped you understand redstone a bit better now. And until next time, goodbye!